Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's get right to the top of Google Business Profile. These were five mistakes I was making that I don't want you to make. Watch this. This video is from my friend Darren, who passed away November 14th, 2021. Darren, these are all the rabbit holes you and I went down trying to understand and learn uh, Google Maps. This one's for you, kid. I love you. All right, guys. I hope everybody's doing great. So let's get to number one. Number one is branding, not paying attention to your brand. So the first thing that I'd like you to do is just come over to Google and type the name of your brand into Google without the dot com. So you'll notice that uh, I already put my brand in MindSaw. And what you want to see first is you want to see this knowledge panel right here on the right hand side. This is one way that Google, that you know that Google recognizes your brand, right? The second thing is you want your website to show up first in the search results when you type in your brand. That's how you know you have a strong brand. After that, you have your social. So we have YouTube, we have Facebook, then you have some, um, some uh, citations. This one's called Crunchbase. Then you'll notice a couple of my videos, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Yelp, so on and so forth, right? So that's the first thing. You want to build a strong brand. And the way to build a strong brand is just look at a strong brand and see what a strong brand is doing. First of all, they have all their social filled out. They have, um, they have citations, right? They have YouTube videos. This is what strong brands do. Google loves strong brands. So the first thing that I would do is check your brand. So you may be saying, what does branding have to do with being found in Google Maps? Well, what I'm speaking about really is if your, your uh, listing should get suspended. That's the first thing Google's going to look at. They're going to do a manual review and they're going to check your brand and they want to make sure that you have a strong brand. If you have a strong brand, you have a better chance of getting your Google business profile reinstated. So work on that before it actually gets suspended. All right, guys, so number two is over-optimizing your content using programs like Rank Math, Yoast, OnPage AI. They're all great programs. But we have to remember, we're not trying to rank in Google Organic. Yeah, it's great if we can rank there, but people who are looking for your service are looking right here in the Google 3-pack. It's the most clicked area for the reason being is that they're able to see reviews, how far you are from them, and on a mobile phone, they could tap to call. It's much harder to go, especially on a mobile on a mobile device, is to go here, go to Yelp, go to Angie's List, find other listings and click it. You know, everybody's going to this section for local services. So you don't need to optimize your content, you know, over optimize your content going going crazy trying to rank in the Google three pack right you really have to optimize your content if you're trying to rank here in in the organic search yes you must you must um, do that but if you don't care if you just want to rank in the Google three pack uh, there's pick your favorite program either rank math Yoast on page AI they're all great um, and, and just optimize your content and that's it. But don't go crazy. Don't spend more than 15, 20 minutes per page optimizing your content. It's, it's, it doesn't do any good. So here's a big time suck citation. So years ago when I started back in around 2012 trying to rank in the Google 3-pack, uh, citations were a big thing, meaning that if you got uh, your name in directories, if you got in more directories than your competition, you were listed in, and then it was called the Google 7 pack. Uh, things have changed since 2012, but sometimes when something worked a long time ago, people hang on to it. And citations are something that uh, there's a program here called Bright Local. Uh, in some of my videos, I've even said it. Uh, uh, take a look at your client citations, get more citations than then, then your client has, find what directories, you know, your top uh, uh, competition is being found under 
and get the same citations and even more, right? That's an old practice and I don't suggest you do it. I don't think you need more than 75, maybe even 50 citations, as long as you're getting the right ones, meaning industry specific citations, um, anywhere between 50 and maybe 100, I would say for most categories should be good. There's no reason for you to get, I can't see any reason for you to get 400, 450 citations because your competition has 400. Just doesn't, uh, it just doesn't do any good these days. So citations is a big, uh, big time suck. Get the right citations. Um, get citations that uh, get go in directories for your industry. So if you're a lawyer, you want to go in in um, all the law uh, directories and plumber, uh, uh, electrician, and so on and so forth. So citations don't do not go crazy with citations. Hey guys, if this video is providing any type of uh, value to you, please like and subscribe to my channel. It'll get, it'll get the channel out to more people just like you who are looking for this type of information. Thanks a lot. All right, guys. So I'm sitting here for about five minutes taking a look at um, the Google three pack and looking at the reviews. And I'm saying to myself, I could have made a video about five mistakes I made just on reviews, right? Just the mistakes that I made on reviews. So let me go over a couple of them. Uh, first of all, uh, you want to get reviews from your from your zip code. If you're getting uh, reviews from all over the United States, that that looks good if somebody checks your reviews, but it's not going to do anything for your ranking. So the amount of reviews does not matter, right? You want to make sure that you're getting reviews from your uh, from your zip code. So that's why I suggest that you use a program like Local Falcon, where you could check each keyword and you could see where you're ranking in each area. By the way, in the description box below, I have the um, I have a link to my affiliate program. So if you'd like to use my link, or if you just want to go to, right to Local Falcon, it's the same price. I just get a small commission from it. But so getting reviews from all over. The other thing is you want to check on reviews, when was the last time your competition uh, got their newest review? So they may have 1,400 reviews and you say, well, there's no way I could beat them. They have 1,400 reviews, but they haven't gotten a review in the past six months. I have no problem uh, going against somebody with 1,400 reviews that hasn't gotten a review in the last three to six months. I know we could definitely beat them. We don't need as many. We don't need that many reviews. Another thing, buying reviews. Guys, whatever you do, it's 2023. Please do not buy reviews. You're going to get your, uh, your uh, GMB suspended. Speaking of that, uh, and this could probably go into the, uh, this could probably go into um, number one. So, well, all right, I'll save number one for something else. Changing your GMB name, and I'll show you how it has to do with uh, reviews. Uh, last year, they had an update, and people would would say, like, uh, ABC Air and Heating of St. Petersburg. Let's just say they would put in of St. Petersburg. Each GMB has a CID number. Think of it like a social security number. And when they changed the GMB, they got a new CID meaning a new social security number for that Google business profile. The problem is, is that they lost all their reviews. So they went in, a lot of people went in and, and changed the name of their Google business profile and added the city name or added some keywords in there. And then what happened was their CID changed and they lost hundreds of reviews. People And they couldn't get it back because they couldn't provide the CID number uh, to Google so they could find their old Google business profile. So um, that was real. That was really a mess. That didn't happen, thank God, with any of my clients. But it ha I did hear that it happened. So, you know, um, in regards to reviews, just play it straight in regards to reviews. Get reviews from people uh, in your area and make sure they use the keyword, the city, your name, your business name the service that you provided, right? Stuff like that. So reviews 
are really, really important. They're probably the number one ranking factor now in Google. Uh, but, you know, they could still be screwed up if you do them wrong, meaning if you buy reviews, you get reviews from out of your area, you get reviews where the the uh, reviewer just said uh, ABC plumbing is great, right? You're not going to get credit for that. So the reviews have to be very, very specific. So uh, don't get intimidated by people that have that have a lot of reviews. Look to see when was the last time they were they, they had a review. Now, here's a trick. Let's just say you haven't had reviews in the past two, three, four weeks, and I did a review for you. Let's just say I did a review. You could contact me, right? And you say, hey, Brett, can you update your review? If I update my review by at least putting a period in, in one of the sentences or changing a period to a comma or change it to an exclamation point, Google sees that as a brand new review, and it shows that the review was done today. So if you haven't gotten a review in the last couple of weeks, look who gave you a review, contact that person and see if they could just make a small change by adding an exclamation point. It'll show that the review was done today. Guys, that was gold right there because that could move you up. That could move you up. All right, let's get to number one. All right, guys. So and, and, and when I say guys, I mean girls too. You know, I, I, I just have a habit of saying, all right, guys, so. But 98% of my viewers are male. So for 98% of the people, this is right. So the last thing is taking a look at your Google business profile. You want to make sure that your profile strength is is, is perfect, that, is that has that full green circle. So you want to go in and, and just update anything that needs updating. Um, you know, your hours are a big thing. There's nothing worse than, you know, having your old hours and having somebody call or somebody come to your actual phys physical store in your clothes because you haven't updated your hours. Just remember, if you update your hours on your Google business profile, you need to update them on your website and you should update them on your uh, citations as well. That's that's really important. So go through your Google business profile and I would say at least you know two or three times a month, every other week or so, add photos right right in this section add photos to your um to your google business profile it's really simple all you do is have to you just snap a couple with your, your with your uh, cell phone and just upload some photos so i would say that that would be really important uh just showing google that that uh you know you're staying on top of that and i've given several lessons on um you know how to do google posts or how to add the uh, messages. So when somebody asks, you know, are you open for Memorial Day? It already uh, gives an answer for, for that stuff like that. So, you know, I would definitely I would definitely do those things, you know, definitely come into your Google Google business profile and uh, make sure your hours are good. Add some add some uh, photos, do a do an update here by, you know, just adding an update, real simple to do. You just put the description, what you want them to do to call action, and then uh, add a photo that goes to it. It just shows Google that you're alive. In no way, if you just do a, a, a Google post, this used to be called a, a GMB post, right? But in no way that if you do a GMB post, will you rank for that keyword tomorrow? So if you put in 24-hour plumbing and stuff, and you just write all about 24 hour plumbing and then add a picture you're probably not going to rank especially if you're in a competitive area you you'd need to keep that up over a while you'd have to have it on your website optimized and you'd have to get several reviews where somebody said they were looking for a 24 hour plumber those three things will work in synergy together and bring your rankings to the Google 3 pack for that keyword Right. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This took me a long time. You know, so these videos take me take me a long time. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying that, like, I, I do all the editing and I do all the uh, all the preparation for this. So if you could please just like and subscribe to my channel, that really helps. So if you could share it on your social media, that that helps as well. And if you don't have a grid program, I, I have an affiliate program in the description below where you could just click the link it's the same price as if you bought it on the website and that helps me because i get a small commission from that 
guys, as I always say, it's really important to be found in the Google three pack. That's like really, really important. It helps your business, helps your business grow. And um, but let's not lose sight of why we're doing this. Right. We're doing this so we could be good providers for our family. And like I said before, 98 percent of my subscribers are male. Right. Not to say that women aren't the breadwinners, you know, in, in this any, you know, in in, uh, in the family. Uh, but it's men's it's a men. It's still a man's uh, job to be providers. And if you're sitting here watching these videos, you're trying to do that. So just don't lose focus. Uh, money is in everything. Be good to your family. Tell your wife that you appreciate her. Throw out the garbage. Right. Make the bed. Do some things around the house. I know these days it's there's this whole red pill and blue pill. And believe me, uh, I, I I red pilled myself out of the, out of the house, right? So, you know, don't don't make some of the make some of the mistakes I made, right? So uh, tell your wife you appreciate her. Kiss your kids. Uh, clean up around the house, help out around the house, and uh, everything's going to fall into place. I, I promise you, everything's going to fall in place. Just keep watching. Keep watching my videos. There's other people's videos, wherever you like. Uh, here's a little suggestion, right? If if you're watching somebody's video for 10 minutes or 15 minutes and you don't understand it, you're probably not going to understand the next 45 minutes. Just get out and find somebody else who's explaining it. Sometimes you don't connect with people. Sometimes people don't connect with me, right? So I wouldn't suggest to watch my videos if you're not connecting with me, right? I, I try to be very clear in explaining what I'm trying to say so so you understand it. But, you know, some people, for whatever reason, don't connect. So I would suggest to connect with somebody that, you know, or to watch somebody's video that you connect with. That's real important, right? All right, guys, everybody have a great day. Be good to your family, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.